Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Today we are going to pull a card of the day for each of the 12 zodiac signs. Um, we will begin with Sagittarius and go through um, all the way to the um, sign of Scorpio. Um, so we will just give each deck a quick shuffle. Um, already cleared both decks. So we will just pull top card and go through each of the zodiacs and see um, what messages need to be given today. So um, we will start with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what do you need to know today? Um, the first card is you deserve love, which is you are lovable. And the tarot card that also is um, associated with that is the three of swords. So I feel like you need to do a little bit of healing, Sagittarius. You know, um, this feels like very much Sag energy, but you have to feel like, I feel like you have to, you know, um, shoot that aerial arrow of love at yourself. So um, are you giving yourself enough self-love, Sagittarius? Um, next, we will move on to the sign of Capricorn. In Capricorn, you get the sign, the card of separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then the tarot card we're getting with that is the Ten of Pentacles. Um, are you going on a business trip? Are you um, are you going on vacation? Um, I feel like vacation, I don't feel, I feel like maybe separation from your home or maybe something you're passionate about, but I, I feel like, um, are you going to go on vacation and be separated from something you're very passionate about? Um, cause I feel like you're going with your family. I feel, oh, are you going on a family vacation and leaving behind, um, that person that you love? Next, we're going to move on to the sign of Aquarius. We get the trust card. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. And the tarot card that goes with that is the Queen of Swords. So um, you just have to be very clear um, on what you want there, Aquarius. Um, that is a very Aquarian energy, you know. Um, so... Be clear in your thoughts. Um, next is Pisces. and Pisces, you get the card of codependency. Um, addiction, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, and the tarot card that goes with that is the Ten of Cups. Are you overindulging? Um, are you drinking a little too much, having a little too much fun? Um, Pisces. The next card is Aquarius. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. And the tarot that goes with that is the three of wands. So um, I feel like um, as you love yourself and trust, know that um, you're going to get that wish fulfillment of that person coming into you. Um, Pisces, oh, right? Aries? Okay. That must have been for Aries. Okay. Aries. There you go. Um, it is safe for you to love um, and get your wish fulfilled with that. Um, for Taurus, we get the religious factors, which for me, this is the spiritual path card. And the tarot to go along with that is the moon card. Um, are you working on that shadow work, Taurus? Um, I know I am today. Um, and then we move on to Gemini. Gemini, you get the free yourself card. It's time to take back control of your life. And then um, the card that's going with that is the five of pentacles. Just um, so you have to release, release yourself from that lack mindset, Gemini. Um, it's not serving you. Um, everything is abundant all around you. Um the next card is for cancer, and the card is finances and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that card is with the chariot, which is the cancer card. So um, 
That's really good energy. I feel like you're going to have some forward movement with your career um, there, Cancer. So that's great energy. Um, we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, you get the soulmate card. The, yes, this is your soulmate. And the card that goes with that is the Four of Cups. The person you're dreaming about. Just know, um, you're, I feel like that's the, you know, you're kind of calling in your soulmate as you're dreaming, you know. That game of, you know, what would it be like if, what would it be like if this person was with you? Um, so super great energy there, uh, Leo. Now we're going to move on to Virgo. Virgo, you get the playfulness card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. And then the card of tarot you get with that is the eight of pentacles, which, you know, I feel that's very Virgo is, you know, doing that work. So Virgo, make sure you're taking a little bit of time, you know, to play and we're going to move on to libra forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present libra and then with that the libra card comes out the justice card so it's about learning and finding balance um and not repeating that cycle i feel for you libra and then final we have scorpio which is the engagement card your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and for the tarot, you get the Three of Pentacles, which is a contract. So know that um, Scorpio, that 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 relationship is going to move into that higher level of commitment. It is a soul contract you have with that person. Um, I would like to thank everyone for joining today. This is just a quick card of the day. I'm going to try to do that um, from now on every day. So everyone have a great day. Bye.